Hey, Yute, do you know anything about this guy? Are you kidding me? Okay, lesson time. Get that out of here. Hey, I was gonna eat that. Yon Yell is nothing short of a legend. The guy's pretty much written the book on public spaces. I mean, literally. He wrote The Life Between Buildings, City for People, How to Study Public Life, New City Life, New City Spaces, and Public Spaces, Public Life. Okay. He's also the focus of a documentary called The Human Scale, which has a rating of 7.3 on IMDb, and that scores it better than Madagascar 3 and Wayne's World. I think you're comparing apples to oranges here, but anyways. I'm looking at his Wikipedia page right now, and it says he's a professor from Copenhagen. That's like the world's cycling capital, right? Yup, but it didn't used to be. Back in the 60s, Copenhagen was a city like many others, meaning it had a lot of car traffic. But that all changed with projects like the Stroget in 1962, which saw its streets being closed to cars and turned into public spaces and patios for pedestrians. Not to mention the huge improvements to bike infrastructure. Well, Jan Gell spent much of his formative years studying and advocating for this change. His research paved the way for car-free zones around the world in cities like New York, Moscow, Sao Paulo, Mexico City, Amman, Brighton, Melbourne, London, and Sydney. Okay, but the car is an essential part of a city. People have to get around somehow. Of course, but it's not about trying to get rid of cars. It's about making places better for people. For much of the last century, transportation engineers and urban planners were pretty focused on how to make cities accommodate traffic, and how to make them look nice and organized on paper. We tore down a lot of older houses for highways and parking, and developed buildings that only look good from the bird's eye view, or in an architecture magazine. Uh, but Jan Gell was one of those first people to realize that pretty designs on paper don't necessarily translate to a good experience on the ground. He said, hey, why don't we design cities for, you know, people? He actually said that? Well, I'm paraphrasing a bit, but he also said, a good city is like a good party. People stay longer than really necessary because they're enjoying themselves. And I think that's the main point here. It doesn't matter how quickly you move or how big your house is in the city, if at the end of the day, you aren't enjoying life. Okay, well that sounds nice, but it's a bit fluffy, don't you think? Well, that's why we're trying out things like closing Argyle Street to car traffic, or redeveloping the Cogswell Interchange, soon. Ish. It's why the waterfront boardwalk in the summertime is so... Jan Gellick? <laughs> totally. We could definitely learn a lot from him, so check out his talk on May 31st. Oh yeah, you uh, want me to replace that? <laughs>